Hey, beautiful ladies. It's time for Fall Fabric Care with me, Stephanie Michelle, Coach of Style. And you guys know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, ring that bell and definitely like. And I want you to share. All right, guys, join me for Fall Fabric Care. Okay, ladies, it's time. It's time to learn about some of the items that you wear all the time, but you take for granted how to care for them. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I care for the items that I wear all year round and some of the items that I wear seasonally. Now it's fall. We're going to move into winter. And some of the things that you haven't worn for a couple of seasons need a little bit of attention. So let me show you how you pay some attention to those items. Number one, the thing that we wear all the time, leather, leather boots. Pull out those leather boots and look at the integrity of those boots. Is it cracking? Are you storing it right? How do the heels look? You wanna take care of these items because these are things that you've paid a lot of money for and you wanna have them around for a very long time, or at least I do because some of them are investment pieces. So let me show you one of the ways that you can care for leather boots. These are one of my favorites. These are thigh high, four inch heel leather boots that I only wear certain times of the year. But while I need to pull them out of storage, there's a couple of things that need to be done. Very first thing after I inspect what they look like and make sure they're wearable, I go ahead and I condition them. And I use a couple of different items to make sure they look really new so the first thing i do is i use a little bit of saddle soap this saddle soap really keeps my leather soft it also cleans this um keeps my boots clean and i also do this on my leather purses it makes them look like they've been refreshed it makes them last longer and they look very new after i use some of the saddle soap i go ahead and use a little bit of the conditioning oil the conditioning oil gives it a little bit of a protection, a protective layer, also makes it a little bit more water repellent. But I do actually use a little bit of some rain and water repellent on my boots because I don't want like salt and too much dirt to break down the, break down the leather on my shoes. You also do that on your purses too. So there are some things that you use certain times of the year. You wanna go back and make sure that you're really taking care of those items. Now I will say I've had these boots over 10 years and they look like I just bought them last year and I want to keep them that way. So make sure you're taking care of your leather boots and leather purses. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Next one, something we wear all the time and you I don't think people really pay attention to how they're really caring for them because I see them out on a regular basis and I can tell people are not taking care of their suede, suede purses, suede jackets, suede wraps, suede purses, shoes, all of those things. You need to take a closer look at those even more so than leather. You do not clean them the same way. You don't want to use any of the saddle soaps and the oils and things like this because although it is a leather, it's a different type of leather. It's raw believe it or not, it's the other side of the leather. So suede needs a different level of attention. So what I usually use is a suede cleaner. Make sure that whatever you're using, if you're using these things on your own, you're using something that is specifically made for that fabric. And in this case, it's suede. Use a suede cleaner, follow the instructions on anything that you buy. Also, if it's your first time using a particular item, test a small space that is not visible for your garment or fabric or whatever the case may be to make sure that you're doing it right also that you're not wearing out that fabric you want to make sure that you don't ruin the entire item um, so read the instructions make sure you're doing the appropriate care for that item and i always stress for anybody for any type of fabric water repellent water and stain repellent your friend is pretty much like scotch guarding your items i'm a busy mom and i want to make sure if my kids drop something on my my items that they're not ruined all right so that's the next thing 
suede. Take care of your suede with the appropriate cleaners. And I will say there's something that you can also do. You can take them to your local shoemaker if that's something you want to do. But if you have a lot of items that you're pulling out of storage because it's a new season or you're trying to refresh a lot of items, you can absolutely do it on your own. There's so many products on the market right now that you can use. These are just some of the ones that I personally use that I've tried over and over that I absolutely love and I buy them over and over. One thing I forgot to show you was the um, suede care kit comes with a brush and a suede stone. A suede stone helps you remove any of um, demarcations on your suede. It helps pull out any of the oils in there. It works really well. So make sure it reads, you're using what needs to be used on that garment. You're making sure that you're using the right items. You don't wanna use anything for leather on suede. It's not gonna work. You're absolutely gonna ruin it. All right, now let's move on to the one thing that I've seen many women ruin and I feel so bad because once you ruin it, there's no coming back. And that's anything with hair, mole hair, cow hair, cow hide, exposed hair, things like that. As soon as you buy that type of item, get it treated. Now, this is something that you particularly cannot treat on your own, not unless that's your expertise. And if it is, then I'm gonna leave you alone. But if it's not, Take this to a professional cleaner and have that taken care of. This is a purse that is all leather on the inside and it's lined. So it has leather trim. It's lined with hair on the trim on the inside and leather on the inside, but it is 100% cowhide on the outside and it's, a, it's hair. I can't treat that on my own with leather cleaners and saddle soaps and things like that and water repellents. That has to be taken to a professional so that they can treat this thing properly. So at this point, I pretty much had this professionally scotch guarded. Why? Because I want this to last a very long time. Two, I don't want it to be stained. And also what tends to happen with these hair type of fabrics is they wear. They get smooth, the hair wears off, but if you don't treat them, it wears off a whole lot faster. These aren't items that you're gonna use every day. They're specialty items or occasionally used items or even seasonally used items, but you have to take care of them. Otherwise, all the money that you paid for them, right out the window. This particular purse, I've had this coach purse for at least eight years. I don't plan on getting rid of it because I still use it. I like it um, and I keep whatever I like. Not interested in what's going on on the outside, but I like this purse. This is another one that I really like. I just acquired this one. I just picked it up from the shoemaker. Um, he cleaned it. He did a fantastic job and it smells nice. All right. So ladies, make sure you are taking care of those favorite items that you have in your closet, whether they're vintage pieces, collector's pieces, new pieces, I don't care pieces, take care of them. If they're in your closet, that means you either like them, you want them, or you plan on using them. So just take care of them. Use the appropriate items for that type of fabric. Take stock on what you have in your closet. If you have something that's um, leather and the leather is stripping and falling apart and things like that, take it to a professional and have it assessed to see if it's something that you can save. Otherwise, it's time to move on. So I am going to put in the description some of the items that I use on my fabrics and I will see you next time in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell so you know when I put the next upload up and I will see you guys again for another video. well known well well oops i did that wrong <laughs>